Hi, so this is the answer walkthrough video for column method multiplying level three. So here are your quick answers. So if you have done these questions and you just want to quickly mark your answers to make sure you've got them right, here they are. So our question one is 56. Question two, the answer is 498. Question three, 15,625. Question four, the answer is 288,630. The answer to question five is 3,744. And then the answer to question six, is 250,360. So if you've got all those right, good job. I'll see you in level four. If you've made a quick mistake and you want to hang around and see where you've gone wrong, by all means, keep watching this video and I'm gonna go through each one of those six questions in depth and so you can see possibly where you've gone wrong. So you're keeping watching, so I'm assuming that you want to go through these in depth. So here's question number one. So for, so for a full answer walkthrough. So Remember what we do from column method one, column method level one even, is that we take each column in turn. So we're gonna do four times four and then four times one. So four times four is 16. Now remembering that the difference in this level is that we've got a carry. So it's a 16, so you write your one up there. And then, because we're following that pattern, we're then gonna do four times one, which is four, add that one there, and then that gives us a five. Question number two. So in this one, the actual column method is not set up itself, so we have to do that. So we write the 166 above, then we write the three underneath. Draw your two lines in, okay? Put a time sign so we write the times. And then again, this pattern is what is what, that pattern is what we're going to follow. So three times six gives me 18. Remembering to carry the one. Three times six is another 18. Adding that one gives me a 19. Okay, and then three times one is three, add that one, gives me a four. Okay, so it's 498. Moving on to question three, this one's already set up for us, which is nice. So five times five is 25. So in this case, we've got to carry the five. Two times five is 10. Carry the two gives me an answer of 12. Remembering to carry the one and write it underneath the hundreds column. One times five is five, add that one gives me a six. And then three times five at the end there is 15. Okay, and so because it's a two digit number, we can then write into the preceding column there. So 15,625 on that one. Now with question number four, now what you realize now is that the numbers are the other way around. So the single digit is at the beginning of this calculation. So all we do, we just make sure that we need to write the big number on top. So 96,210, write your little single digit underneath, two lines, and making sure that we're gonna follow that pattern. So the pattern we're gonna follow, we're gonna start with that single digit and keep fanning out. So three times zero is zero. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times six is 18. Remember to carry that one because it's a two digit number. Three times nine is 27. Add that one and it gives me an answer of 28. So what you can see is that we can actually expand these calculations for massive numbers. So once you get the hang of it, it really is no bother whatsoever. Question number five, eight times eight, finding out that way, remember, eight times eight is 64, carry in your six. Six times eight is 48, add that six, makes that a 54. Remembering to really concentrate where your little carry numbers are. Four times eight is 32, add that five, gives me a 37. And so that's where the answer of 3,744 3, came from. Right, and so now we're on to question number six. So five times eight is 40. Nine times eight is 72. Add that four becomes a 76, remembering to carry the seven. Two times eight is 16. Add that seven, then becomes 23. Remembering to write the little carries underneath each column just to make it easier to see. One times eight is eight, but then we need to add that two, so that becomes a 10. This means that we need to carry. And then three times eight is 24. Add that one gives me an answer of 25. And as we saw from level one, because it's a two digit number, we can then proceed it into the column. And so that's where the answer for number six came from, 250,360. So it's just a case of practice with these. Hopefully you've seen where you've made a mistake and I'll see you in level four. And in level four, we're gonna look at what happens when we want to now multiply by a two digit number.